What's up guys, Fatty Manson here from Real Results Fitness. And what we're going to be discussing today is, can you gain muscle and lose fat at the same time? We see it everywhere, right? You're always seeing like, especially with social media now, you see it on Instagram everywhere, build muscle and lose fat or, you know, this program is gonna teach you exactly how you could lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. You see that everywhere now on social media, right? Um, so let's, you know, kind of dive a little bit deeper into it. The extremely short answer to it is yes, you can, but it's not gonna be as easy as it's set out to be like on all these advertisements. So like a lot of things in the you know fitness world, it's gonna depend on a lot of things. But the primary thing we're gonna focus on is how long you've been training, all right? And like how new you are to training more. So if you're completely new to training, and let's say you're in your first few years, like first three years, I wanna say it is, uh, it's much easier for you to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. Another example of when you can lose fat and gain muscle or tone is uh, when you've been injured for a while. Like let's say you got injured, you stopped lifting, and now you're back at it. You can, the reason for that being is because you haven't been doing anything, right? So you're starting to lift weights, your body's gonna react to that. If you even just eat slightly better, your body's gonna react to that as well. And that's why in the beginning, so as an example, um, let's say you, you've trained in the past and you were at that stage like you lost a lot of fat, gained a lot of muscle, um, you got a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, and now, by now you're probably thinking like, what are you talking about? I see it all the time. I see people gain fat and lose muscle still and you can see it by the pictures. Let's say somebody has a decent amount of muscle, but they're around like 16 to 18% body fat. I'll give you my example, all right? And you're weighing around like 200-ish pounds. Okay, so you can see the muscle, you know they got muscle. So in that scenario that I just explained to you right now, um, when that person cuts their body fat, okay, they're gonna look like they have a ton more muscle, but in fact, they weigh a lot less. So when it's all said and done, they didn't just transfer that 200 pounds of body weight and all of a sudden became 200 pounds of lean muscle. Um, they're more than likely around 180, 190, just depending on how much muscle they carry. Once you do reach like a certain level of leanness, um, then, or a certain level of body fat, I should say, then it is easier to start doing that and you can do that through like a body recomp, but that's... To the untrained eye, you know, someone will just say like, dude, you lost all kinds of fat and gained all, mu all kinds of muscle, uh, but in fact, I just lost a lot of fat. Um, you know, that's not to say it can't be done, it's just a much, much longer. To discourage you guys, I'm not saying it can't be done, but if you are really trained, okay, it takes a much longer time. And if you're at that high of a body fat, it's better to just cut down and then recomp, otherwise you're spinning your wheels. Hope I didn't confuse you too much, um, but if you are confused about just like what route you want to go, where you want to, you know, you don't know what what you want to do, um, shoot me a message. Let me try and help you out, and hope you guys have a good day.